global webcasting for a worldwide audience. You're listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters, and welcome back to the Rock Show. And this is a special show because I'm not on me, Todd. It is I. I'm with you this time. <laughs> well, it was only fair because you sort of came up with the idea. <laughs> it's a slow takeover. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're sort of calling this one... Um, no, it, it Wonders. No, It Wonders. Yeah. Yes. So, if you'd like to explain the No, It Wonder... Basically, there was a lot of our um, artists in the late 60s, early 70s that were making rock albums. And they weren't a hit. They made one or two songs and that was it. And why were they not a hit? That's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> but, we're, we're, as the show progresses, you're sort of, we'll sort of realise that a lot of these people just left. They just <laughs> went, no, we can't do this. And uh, some of them went on to form other bands. Um, and then there's artistic differences with other ones where, no, no, no. You so, mean arguments? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to put it politely. <laughs> well, I think that's enough matter. Let's get on with it. Just the thing, and what seems all at stake. So keep the 
blessed with love and hatred And as they merge into the one faith you led All the craze that had gone before It seemed to escape Even the most unbelieving sense And when all is said and done There isn't one among us Who doesn't want to throw himself at your feet And beg you to be his leader And swear undying loyalty to the point of fever And render himself helpless to be guided and provided for You stand there naked and oblivious Bold and insidious In your Eden garden That you gave Pandora. Pandora from their only album called Space Amazon. And that was the title track. Yes. Um, I'd forgotten it was that long. It came out in 1974. Well, it was recorded in 1974. Didn't get released till 1997. And the single, you can see why these were no hit wonders, was a flexi disc. Yeah. <laughs> Which must have sounded awful, but worth a shed load of money. Oh, I suppose it's quite yeah, rare, it's, isn't it? It is very rare. I'm actually on, on the site that says all about, about these things. Um, what can I tell you about them? They were formed in late 73 in New York, um, recorded these tracks in 1974. The guitarist went on to be with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. So he, he had a bit of a success, but uh, the rest of them, I don't know what happened to them, it doesn't really say. They're probably all estate agents and bankers. And well, things. yeah, yeah. The The CD... Uh, it's got a great little cartoon on the front and it says at the top scintillating 1974 New York City glam shock rock on overdrive so that is Amazon for you <laughs> or Pandora even and the album is called Amazon I'm pretty sure that you can get it from Amazon <laughs> I think you can 
Yeah, and that was Space Amazon the time. Yes, so. it was. The next is one I added to the list, because there weren't quite enough. And this is a band I discovered a little while ago now. They're We Are Harlot. Okay. They, they've had one album that I can find, and haven't done anything since. So they qualify quite nicely. I think they do. Yes. This is Dirty Little Thing. I found a little bit about Dirty Harlot. Uh, you're right, they only made the one album. They are a super group. <laughs> Although we're not too sure who are the super group. Uh, the singer is Danny Robert Works, Worksnop, who was in Asking Alexander. Alexandria. A- Asking Alexandria. Yeah. I do beg your pardon. Um, I don't really know them. Uh, I know them. Uh, they're quite good. The others just appear to be random guys <laughs> so, so maybe super group is a bit rich it, yeah it was recorded in they were formed in 2011 um that album was recorded in 2015 and that is it yeah there is no more <laughs> but apparently they are still around yeah they're still they're not so. saying that they've they're not doing anything maybe they'll be surprised us and bring out another one never know do you so uh i'm gonna need your guidance on the next one sir because i've lost my list <laughs> it's uh solo of baltimore Oh, cool. I'll tell you what it's called after this. Yeah.
that hound. indeed. Hell, <laughs> Hell, Hellhound. <laughs> Hellhound by Sir Lord, Sir Lord Baltimore from uh, their album Kingdom Come that came out in 1970. Um, they made three albums, one hit. <laughs> uh, bizarrely, their, their lead singer was the drummer. That's unusual. So, and if you listen back at that track, the way he was whacking that, he was clever, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah, they didn't do anything else. They were formed in America, Brooklyn, in 1969. And that's as far as the information goes on to Lord I, Baltimore. I had a listen to the rest of the album, and it's okay. Yeah. It should have been better. A, a lot of these, um, the Know It Wonder ones, if they've done sort of two or three albums, by the third album, they've burnt out. Yeah. You, you know, first into second album are the ones that are, are good. <laughs> <laughs> The next one is another so-called supergroup, and I think you found this for me ages ago, and it's really good. Yeah. And, and I keep hoping there's going to be another one. This is 40 Juice. Juice with the track, and that was started up. Of course, it was. <laughs> I was singing away. Is it? They were a su- another super group. Um, the biggest person in that lineup is uh, Richie Cotson, who was in Mr. Big and Poison were the biggest bands. Yeah. So there you go. Next up. I, I, oh, well, sorry. I really do keep hoping he's going to get yeah. of what he's doing and make another one. Um, he could. He could end up being in Dead Daisies because they. He meets their their tick, right sound, ticking all their it? boxes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next one, I quite like this band. Yeah, the Killing Floor. It's Killing Floor. Stupid name. Well, it's a Led Zeppelin track, and it's "Woman, You Need Love." <laughs> Love. Oh, I have that love. 
Killing Floor from their album Killing Floor from 1969 with a track called Woman You Need Love, Willie Dixon cover. So it was good. They were a blues rock band. They were formed in London in 68, although I thought it was way they're Welsh. So I don't know which one's lying here. <laughs> if it's Wikipedia, it's probably Some, them. Somebody's lying. Somebody's <laughs> lying to me. Um, they made two albums in 69 and 70. Second one being called Out of Uranus, which I thought quite a nice... <laughs> Yeah, it's because you're a snigger, doesn't it? But the first two tracks are obviously left out from the first album session because after that it drops off, okay. unfortunately. Um, my apologies to them if they're listening. Uh, they did come back in 2012 and make another album. Don't know. Never heard it. <laughs> no, didn't even know till now about that one. Well, so, considering how good they were to begin with, I think it might be worth trying to find it. Yeah, just to see. Just to find out. See what happens. Now, this next one's going to give you a snigger. <laughs> The track is called Feline Woman and the band is called Pussy. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was Pussy with Feline Woman. And you were just saying they sounded a bit like Black Sabbath, <laughs> and now we know why. They were in the studio next door when Sabbath were recording. Uh, that was recorded in 72, uh, Feline Woman. There wasn't an album until 2011 when they was a compilation of okay. all their singles and EPs and whatnot. Um, they were managed by Ian Gillan of Deep Purple fame. Um, he also provided backing vocals for them. They were based in Salisbury, and that was it. They came out of the prog rock, cult cult rock band called Jerusalem. Oh, better them. Yeah, too much flute for me. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that and that's pussy. Uh, you can still get that out that album on CD on the vintage label, and it's called Invasion. Worth a listen. Oh, I'm not even going to snigger on that one. Um, the next one sounds very much like... Um, Sort of cut priced superhero, doesn't it? <laughs> Cap- Captain Beyond <laughs> and uh, Raging River of Fear. sudden ending there it we caught us unawares didn't it because we were nattering uh captain beyond from their 
album Captain Beyond from 1972, Raging River of Fear. Yes. Um, they did two albums, 1972-73, and then from 77 onwards, there was a glut of live recordings that were found. Um, Captain Beyond were not a super group, but it says that they were from members of Iron Butterfly and Deep Purple, formed in California in 71. Um, the member of Deep Purple was Rod Evans, who was the original singer. So it's sort of a loose connection i suppose um yeah that's captain beyond for you that's a good sound i like that yeah they rock i know you like buffalo don't you i do like buffalo yes this is good because they're next good
Buffalo. Buffalo. What can I tell you about Buffalo? They were on the highly collectible Vertigo label they were, with yeah. a nice swirly thing. Uh, they formed in 1971 until 77. That track was from their first album called Dead Forever, which I actually have a proper copy of in front of me. They did five albums. I've got two of them. I've got Dead Forever and Vol- Volcanic Rock. I don't know what the others are like. I, w- I am going to go and check them out. Well, Dead Forever is a fantastic album, and I've got an inkling it's going to end up as a album special show. It's, it's, it's a great album. It's, and I've got one of those specially done by Akama Records, like a fan-based book. Yes. Which is terrible to store. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it doesn't fit anywhere. No. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's Buffalo for you. Who have we got next, Ben? Green Bullfrog. <laughs> I like Green Bullfrog. Green Bullfrog, a proper super group this was. Get the names of this. Albert Lee, Big Jim Sullivan, Chaz Hosage from Chaz and Dave, uh, Earl Gordon, Ian Pace from Purple, Richie Blackmore from Purple, and Rod Alexander and Tony Ashton. They made one album in 1971, didn't do anything at all. Single, My Baby Left Me, which you just heard. It got reissued in 1991 with extra tracks. And that's all I can tell you about that little super group. Green Bullfrog. That was great. It's good, isn't it? Reckon, it chugged along. I reckon they just wanted to do it. Yeah. And didn't care. They were all in the studio at the, t- at the time and thought, right, we'll do this. They recorded it in three days, the whole album. Some of the best albums have been recorded. Yeah, quickly. as we were saying, conversing. Yes. Right, I'm going to skip one because what you said about the flutiness. Oh, no. Um, it, would, it was going to be spring. I apologise, but it's too fluty. Yeah. So instead, we've got Blood Rock. Oh, good track. <laughs> Baby 
take those notes out. Firstly, I need to apologise. That wasn't Blood Rock. It was for the eagle eared amongst you. It was CAC. It was CAC. <laughs> From their album, Cacola. <laughs> uh, they were formed in 68, did the album in 69, then that was it. And that was well, a track called Disbelieving. Well, if you're going to name your band after crap, it's probably a... Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, you were saying that there were so many bands like that. Yeah, they, these came America. from California. Um, and it, you can see why a lot of these bands just went under the radar, because there were so many of them. Yes. Yes. That weren't bad, though. Um, I, Good bearing, guitar riff. Bearing in mind that one was wrong... I don't know what's coming next. Don't announce it. So we'll find out. We'll go, we'll go. found it that was blood rock that was blood rock from 1970 with their album called blood rock guess what their second album was called blood rock 2 <laughs> guess what their third album was called i've no idea <laughs> blood rock 3 uh, they did do four albums between 1970 and 1971 the last being blood rock usa uh, then after that they had personnel changes by the looks of it and by 74 they were gone Oh, okay. So, yeah, and that was Give Me Your Head from their first album. They were formed in Texas in 1970 in Fort Worth. There you go. So there you go. You really do learn something new every day. Well, that's it. I'm afraid we're out of time. This has been the Rock Show No Hit Wonders. So I thank you very much, not just for furnishing me with most of the music, but for joining me today. You're very welcome. And hopefully we should be leaving you with Highway Robbery. This was the spark, wasn't it? I was playing this when you came in and said, I like that, and this is where the show came from. Exactly. Highway Um, Robbery... 1972 again, one album, and that was it. Didn't get released till the mid 90s. Well, with a bit of luck, this is Lazy Woman. I've been Ben Fuller. I've been Cy. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you for listening. Uh, till next time, stay safe. Ta da. Ta da. <laughs>
Radio Lewis. Local. Community. Community. Webcasting.